Om Jnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pricharine Nirvisesha Shanyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Vanchakalpa Tarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we're going through Krishna book. This evening we're on chapter number five. The title is The Meeting of Nanda and Vasudev. So we heard how Vasudev had brought his child, the boy, over to the home of Nanda Maharaj and exchanged it for the girl. And this way Vasudev went back to Kamsa's prison and when Kamsa heard that Devaki had delivered a child, Kamsa came to kill the child. But when Kamsa tried to kill the child, the it, the, 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 the baby rose up into the air and took the form of Mother Durga. Now, demons like Kamsa, they always worshipped the demigods and he was a devotee of Durga. So when he saw his sister give that his sister's child was Durga, he, was, he became very changed and he, he gave respect to his sister. <laughs> And at, at that time he released Vasudev and Devaki from his prison, he let them go free. But then the next day, Kamsa met with all his demon friends, and the demon friends were not happy about everything. Because when when the when Mother Durga rose into the air, she told Kamsa that 
can't say you are a fool. The child who is going to kill you is already born, and you cannot you cannot kill me. So when Kamsa told this to all the demons, the demons said, "Then we will kill all the young children born in the last ten days." Archana? Yes, good. Okay, I mute her. Yeah, please. So, so, uh, Although Krishna was born to Vasudev and Devaki, Vas Vasudev had brought baby Krishna over to the home of Nanda Maharaj and taken the baby girl who Yashoda had given birth to. Uh, so Krishna was actually the son of Vasudev and Devaki, and Kamsa wanted to kill that child, but he didn't know where it was. And Kamsa thought Vasudev and Devaki's child was the girl who had become Durga. So Nanda Maharaj has Krishna in his home as a child, and he thinks this child is Mother Yashoda's child. So the, he, he had a very nice birth ceremony for Krishna. And when everybody in Vrindavan heard that Mother Yashoda had given birth to a male child, they were all very happy and they all came to their, they, many people came to their house to see the child. So, Nanda Maharaj was not so young, he was a, a little bit older, and Mother Yashoda also was not so young, so they were very lucky to have a child, and, and usually, usually to get a male child is all, it's not possible if you're older. So people were really happy when they heard that Mother Yashoda had given birth to a male child. So Nanda Maharaj got the astrologer to come to their home. He's a brahmana and he has to, he does the birth ceremony. 
จัดงานพิธีจะเป็นพิธีจัดงานวันเกิดของอลูกใช่ไหมคะก็ได้ให้นักโหรศาสตร์เนี่ยมาด้วยนะคะมาร่วมพิธีแล้วก็เพื่อที่จะมาทำนายอานาคตของเด็ก Yeah, in the Vedic culture, there's many different ceremonies which they perform when the child is born. ตามตามระบบพระเวทนะคะจะมีหลายพิธีมากที่คนเนี่ยจะปฏิบัติเวลาที่มีเด็กเกิด One of the things they do is everybody will take bath and put on very nice clothes and decorate themselves with ornaments, and then they'll come before the child. Thing they'll do is they'll take a bath, 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 they'll About the future of the child, because the astrologer can calculate what will be the behavior, what will be the nature, the qualities of the child. แล้วก็นักโหราศาสตร์นะคะเขาก็จะคำนวณโดยดูดวงดาวแล้วก็ดาวเคราะห์ต่างๆเนี่ยแล้วก็จะบอกถึงอนาคตของเด็กว่าเด็กคนนี้เนี่ยจะเป็นยังไงแล้วก็จะทำอะไร So Nanda Maharaj and all the members of the family dressed nicely, and they came and sat down in front of the baby. And they had many Brahmins come to recite different mantras. For to create to create auspiciousness. And they worship all the demigods also at this occasion. And they worship all the forefathers of the family. And at that time, Nanda Maharaj gave charity because his wife has delivered a child, so he's very happy. So he gave two hundred thousand, means two lakh cows. He gave them in charity to the brahmanas. ลูกชายใช่ไหมคะก็เลยทำทานนะคะทำทานโดยการแจกวัวสองแสนตัวนะคะเป็นทานให้กับพวกพระ And these cows were all decorated with nice silk cloth and ornaments of different minerals like gold and silver แล้วก็วัวแต่ละตัวนะคะก็มีการตกแต่งอย่างดีโดยมีเครื่องประดับใส่ให้นะคะแต่ละตัวมีทองเป็นเครื่องประดับแล้วก็ And and then he would give the brahmanas as well as giving cows. He would give a lot of grain like rice or wheat. And he would decorate everything with ornaments and cloth, nice cloth. So it, in the, you see, in the time of Lord Krishna, people who were doing agricultural work, like taking care of the cows and cultivating the land, they were very wealthy. Nowadays, if you see people who work in the farming, then they don't even have good cloth. They just have old cloth, and they don't have anything, any wealth. Everything is so degraded now in the Kali Yuga. But in the times of Lord Krishna, the farmer and the people taking care of the cows and growing the crops, 
They were the real wealthy people. So in the Vedic culture, when someone has some wealth, or when they have something valuable, they have to purify it. Just like if you have wealth, Nanda Maharaj had some wealth, so he gave cows and he gave gold and charity to the Brahmanas. And by giving grain and charity to the Brahmanas, that's for the benefit of the new baby. We are always living in a contaminated condition of life. Nowadays, we're always contaminated. So we have to purify our life by taking bath and cleansing the body inside and outside. We have to do austerities, we have to worship the Lord and we have to give charity. Of course, we can only give charity if we have some wealth. If we don't have any wealth, we're not expected to give charity. But we can purify ourselves by studying the scriptures like the Veda. So by birth we're all sudra, but we can become purified, we can become twice born. If we get initiation from a qualified teacher, and he trains us, then we can become a brahmana. And the brahmana can go on to become a devotee or a Vaishnava, which is higher than a brahmana. So there were many brahmanas came for Krishna's birth ceremony and they were all chanting different mantras. And then some people were singing and some were playing on on bugle on the bugle, you know, it's a bugle is like a like a trumpet. So the, the, where they were, when they were doing the ceremony for the birth of Krishna, there were so many nice loud vibrations that it, you could hear the vibrations of the mantras and the music could be heard all over the, the, the land of Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj has a lot of land but you could hear coming from the house. You could hear all the mantras, all the sound. 
แล้วก็คลื่นเสียงนะคะคลื่นเสียงที่ได้อยู่ในงานวันนี้ที่ในบ้านของนันดมาราชที่ท่านจัดใช่ไหมคะปรากฏว่ามันดังแล้วมันก็ไปทั่วแบบจากพื้นที่ข้างนอกเนี่ยก็สามารถได้ยินได้บ้านของนันดมาราชเนี่ยนันดมาราชเป็นบุคคลที่มีพื้นที่ค่อนข้างเยอะนะคะแต่ก็ทุกคนสามารถได้ยินได้ They done a lot They did a lot of decoration and preparation for the festival แล้วก็มีการตกแต่งนะคะตกแต่งพิธีสถานที่เนี่ยเยอะมาก They put flags everywhere And decorated leaf, mango leaves around the place. ได้มีการตกแต่งโดยการมีธงนะคะแล้วก็มีใบมะม่วงนะคะซึ่งถือว่าเป็นใบที่เพิ่มความเป็นเสียงมากขึ้น And they put paintings everywhere, different beautiful paintings hang on the walls. แล้วก็มีการภาพวาดนะคะก็มีการแขวนตามกำแพงต่างๆเป็นการตกแต่ง And even the cows and the bulls and the calves they were all decorated แล้วก็ทั้งวัวนะคะลูกวัวทั้งหลายเนี่ยก็ได้รับการตกแต่งอย่างดี And they were painted with different colors on them แล้วก็มีสีด้วยนะคะจะได้ทาสีเป็นการตกแต่งพวกเขา And some of them had garlands of peacock feathers, and some of them were covered with cloth and different necklaces. So when the other people, the other cowherd men in Vrindavan, when they heard Nanda Maharaj was celebrating his the birth of his son. They also became very happy. Mm. They wore nice uh, turban on their head, and then they had also earrings and necklaces. This is a man. Right, they had earrings and necklaces, and and they wore nice garments with nice ornaments. And they brought some present to give to Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj. And then the women also, the village ladies, the husband, the wives of all the the cowherd men, they also decorated themselves very nicely with beautiful clothes and ornaments. And the women also, they put some fragrance, some scent, some perfume stuff on their bodies to smell nice, like women do. So all the gopis, these gopi ladies, they look very beautiful. And they came there to see Mother Yashoda's child. They described how the gopis they all had beautiful bodies. They had very nice swollen breasts, and they had beautiful big hips. แล้วก็ได้อธิบายถึงความสง่างามของโกปีนะคะว่าเสื้อผ้าที่เขาใส่มันสวยงามแล้วก็รูปรูปร่างของเขานะคะเอวคอดแล้วก็สะโพกผาย And the, the, the necklaces the necks were decorated with nice jewels and the lips they had also lipstick different kinds of lipstick แล้วก็บอกว่า
คอนะคะก็ตกแต่งไปด้วยสร้อยคออันสวยงามแล้วก็ปากของเขาเลือนริมฝีปากของเขาเนี่ยก็ได้ทาลิปสติกต่างแต่ละสี And their eyes have different ointments on on them also for decoration and their hands have nice bangles of gold แล้วก็ตาเนี่ยเขาก็ได้กีดตาอย่างสวยใช่ไหมคะแล้วก็มือของเขาเนี่ยก็ตกแต่งไปด้วยกำไรข้อมือที่เป็นทอง And then they, when they would come to see Mother Yashoda, they would bless the child that, oh, may you live a long time and just protect us. And they would sprinkle a mixture of. Yogurt and milk and water and turmeric powder. They would sprinkle it on everybody and on the baby and Mother Yashoda. So it was, it was a very happy. Everyone was very happy, very joyful, and they were playing beautiful music. Musicians were there playing music all the time. So when the gopis were throwing the mixture of yogurt and turmeric and milk, and then then the cowherd men they saw the women doing this and they began to also throw yogurt and milk and ghee and butter and water everywhere. So this way, Nanda Maharaj saw everybody so happy. He also became very happy, and he began. He was giving charity to everyone. Nanda Maharaj, ha, หลังจากที่ได้เห็นความสุขของทุกคนเนี่ยอ uh, right. He would give charity, especially to the people who were singing, and some of the singers they were singing the scriptures, they were singing the Upanishads and the Puranas. So when Nanda Maharaj heard them sing all these songs, he was very happy, very satisfied, and he would give charity. Nanda Maharaj, นะคะก็จะมีความสุขมากเวลาที่ได้ยินการสวดบทมนต์พระเวทของ Sometimes he give cows in charity. Sometimes he give ornaments, and sometimes he give clothes. So we would think when we go to Vrindavan, we see the people in Vrindavan. We see oh the. Poor cowherd men that they look so poor, you know. They live in the in the village and they just have the small house. We think, oh, they don't have much wealth. But in the time of Lord Krishna, five thousand years ago, they were so wealthy. They were so they had so much one, they had so much opulence. 
กล่าวว่าความจริงแล้วนะคะตอนสมัยคริสต์นาเนี่ยเมื่อห้าพันปีที่แล้วเนี่ยพวกเขานะคะรวยมากพวกเขาแบบว่าจะมีทรัพย์สมบัตินะคะแล้วก็มีเสื้อผ้าดีๆใส่แบบนี้เยี่ยม We know Lord Balaram he carries the plow the plow is used to plow the field to plant the crops And Lord Krishna, he has the flute. He's playing the flute because the coward boy. They play the flute to attract the cows. So Krishna does go raksha. He protects the cows. And Balaram does Krishi Raksha. He grows the crops. So this is Vaishya. This is the work of the Vaishya. You see, Krishna and Balaram came. I appeared in the Vaishya family. At least Nanda Maharaj's family was Vaishya. Vasudev and Devaki, they were Kshatriya. So for the Vaishya, their wealth is in having cows, and from the cows they get milk and yogurt and ghee and many other things. And they had so much; they could give charity. They could give nice charity to people without any difficulty. They gave them charity. They gave people whatever they wanted. They gave the brahmanas whatever they wanted. So these kind of festivals would take place whenever there was a birthday or a marriage. And Nanda Maharaj's purpose, his purpose is he wants Krishna should be happy. He said, "Please bless my child; that my child will be happy." And Nanda Maharaj is a he is a devotee of Vishnu, so he was worshiping Lord Vishnu. And he would pray to Lord Vishnu to protect this boy of mine. We didn't know this boy is the origin of Vishnu. And Rohini. She's the mother of Balaram, so she was also there in the home of Nanda Maharaj. She, she was there because Vasudev was worried about her safety, so he thought it would be safer for her to stay there in the home of Nanda Maharaj because Rohini is also a wife of Vasudev. เพราะฉะนั้น 
วาสุเดฟเนี่ยค่อนข้างเป็นห่วงโรฮินีนะคะว่าจะมีภัยอันตรายเกิดขึ้นกับโรฮินีหรือเปล่าเลยอยู่บ้านเลยให้อยู่บ้านหลักเดียวกันกับนางแกมาราโอ้ maybe big big storm coming here I may have difficulty with the connection. Anyway, okay. So when they had the birth ceremony for Krishna, Nanda Maharaj also gave presents to Rohini, and he gave her new cloth and he gave her jewelry and everything. Yeah, because she's staying there in the in under the care of Nanda Maharaj, so he takes care of her. He gave her nice cloth, and she could decorate herself, make herself look very nice. Of course, because Lord Krishna is the supreme Lord, so when he takes birth, the goddess of fortune makes sure that everything is there. Every that there's no scarcity. When the Lord comes, when the Supreme Lord comes, then certainly Mother Lakshmi will provide everything for His needs. So after the birth ceremony, then Nanda Maharaj decided he has to go to Mathura. And he's going there to pay the tax to Kamsa. Every because he's a, he's a Vaishya, he's doing some farming. He makes some money, so he has to pay tax to the government. He has to go to Mathura and give money to Kamsa. So, so he he asks all the cowherd men there to take care of Mother Yashoda and the new baby, and don't let anybody come and do any harm to them. So when Nanda Maharaj gets to Mathura, Vasudev hears about it, and Vasudev is very happy because they're very close friends. Actually, they're like cousin brothers. But one is a Vaishya, Nanda Maharaj is Vaishya, and Vasudev is Kshatriya. Because they, they have the same father, Surasena. But Surasena married different women. One woman was a Kshatriya, one woman was from the Vaishya family. Uh, 
So Nanda Maharaj meets Vasudev and they're they're very happy to be together, they embrace each other. Nanda Maharaj, he's a little older than Vasudev, but he embraces Vasudev. So Vasudev, he's, he's congratulating Nanda Maharaj, that was very nice, you got a child. After a long time you could not get a child, finally you got the child, very wonderful. Actually, both Balaram and Krishna were the sons of Vasudev, but Nanda Maharaj doesn't know. Balaram was transferred from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. Both, both Devaki and Rohini were wives of Vasudev. But Yoga Maya transferred Balaram from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. Right. Kamsa had killed the first six children of Devaki. But, but when Balaram came and then he transferred to the womb of Rohini, they thought Balaram was a miscarriage. Nobody knew that he had taken birth. So Nanda Maharaj knew Balaram was the son of Vasudev. Yeah, he did know. Oh, he didn't know. He did. He did know. Oh, he knew. But he didn't know that Krishna was also Vasudev's son. So Vasudev, he just wanted to make sure that this was secret because if Kamsa would find out, then Kamsa would want to kill Krishna. So Vasudev was talking with Nanda Maharaj and he told Nanda Maharaj, it's very lucky that you're, you're old but you could get a son, very rare. And Vasudev said, look at me, he said, we, Devaki had six sons and Kamsa killed all of them. Mm. So I was in the prison, but now I somehow Kamsa has let me free. So it's like a new birth for me to come out of the prison. 
ดูสิฉันโดนกักขังไว้ในคุกโดยคำสาตาตอนนี้เนี่ยเขาให้ฉันออกมาจากคุกแต่ละฉันเหมือนได้เกิดใหม่อีกรอบนึง Yeah, he's saying, and Vasudev says, "I'm very happy to see you again. I never thought I would see you again." So Vasudev was anxious about Krishna because he's worried for the safety of the baby Krishna. So, uh, Vasudev was very pleased to meet Nanda Maharaj, and he tells Nanda Maharaj that he never expected that Krishna would live. เพราะฉะนั้นวาสุเดชเนี่ยก็จะบอกกันนันดามาราชว่าเขาเนี่ยไม่คิดเลยว่าคริสต์นาเนี่ยจะรอด Because his other sons had been killed by Kamsa เพราะว่าลูกคนอื่นๆเนี่ยโดนสังโดนคำสาสังหารหมด So he said it's like a new birth for me เพราะฉะนั้นเหมือนกับการได้เกิดใหม่ Vasudev, but Vasudev, he he sees everything philosophically, so he says to Nanda Maharaj, he said, it's very difficult to stay together. We have our family and relatives and children, but it's very hard for everyone to stay together. We all get separated in the course of time. We all have our different karma, which brings us together and then separates us. So while we are a family, live together, very nice. But as we grow up, after some time, everybody gets separated. นะคะเราอาจจะได้อยู่ด้วยกันหมดทุกคนอยู่ร่วมกันนะคะแต่พอเราเริ่มโตขึ้นเนี่ยเวลาเริ่มผ่านไปใช่ไหมคะเราก็จะมีชีวิตก็จะมีการเปลี่ยนแปลงทำให้เราต้องจากกันไป And Vasudev had eight sons but he couldn't keep any of them วาสุเดชเนี่ยมีลูกทั้งหมดแปดคนแต่ก็ไม่มีใครเหลือเลยไม่เหลือใครเลย So this is a How nature works. We are. We have no control. We are. We just have to surrender. So Vasudev asked Nanda Maharaj, "How is Vrindavan? Are all the animals happy there?" เพราะฉะนั้นวาสุเดชนะคะก็จะถามกันนันดามาราชว่าบริณดาวันเป็นอย่างไรบ้างสัตว์ทุกชนิดเนี่ยเขามีความสุขดีไหมที่นั่น Because Nanda Maharaj of course has many cows I think nine hundred thousand cows นันดามาราชนะคะมีวัวเยอะมากมีวัวเก้าแสนตัว And the cows need grass and water If they don't get grass and water, they won't be happy. And if they're not happy, they won't give milk. And then Nand Vasudev also asked Nanda Maharaj, he said. 
What about where you are living? Are you living in a good place? Is it peaceful? Is it all right for you? Because Vasudev knew Kamsa is sending demons to try to kill the children. So Vasudev wants to make sure that Nanda Maharaj's home is safe and that Krishna won't get any danger. So actually, Balaram, he didn't know that Vasudev was his father. He thinks Nanda Maharaj was his father. And now you have also Krishna there as your child. And so people will be thinking you have two boys. So we we hope you were you're taking nice care of them, keeping them clean and happy and out of danger, protect them from any danger. Just like we protect the cows, we have to protect also the children. And we have to protect the cows because they're they're just like people. They're as important as just as important as the people. So Vasudev encourages Nanda Maharaj to perform his religious duties. Make sure the cows don't get any trouble, to keep them safely and happy. And the people also in the kingdom, they should be happy and taken care of. So Vasudev felt very sorry, he could not protect his sons. But Nanda Maharaj comforts him and says, I know you've had a hard time, you, this cruel King Kamsa has given you so much problem, he killed all your sons. But then your last child was a daughter and Kamsa could not kill her either and she became a she went to heaven but Nanda Maharaj tells Vasudev don't worry, you know, what happened, it's not your fault, just control your mind and be detached. Nanda 
ที่มันเกิดขึ้นมันก็ได้กําหนดมาแล้วว่าต้องเกิดขึ้นสิ่งนั้นก็เลยเกิดขึ้นเธอก็พยายามไม่ต้องยึดติดแล้วก็ควบคุมจิตใจของเธอให้ได้ So then Vasudev tells Nanda Maharaj that I think you know it's time you should go back to Vrindavan. If you paid the taxes, then better you go back now because there may always be some danger there. So Vasudev, he's staying in Mathura, but Nanda Maharaj, he goes back to Gokul, and he goes back with the cowherd man. They paid their taxes in Mathura, and then they went back to Gokul. They returned okay. to their home. Vasudev, นะคะก็จะอาศัยอยู่ที่มัทุราแต่ว่านันดามาราเนี่ยจะอยู่ที่โกกูนะคะหลังจากทำทุราเสร็จเนี่ยก็ได้พาวัวแล้วก็เด็กเลี้ยงวัวที่มาด้วยกับท่านเนี่ยเดินทางกับโกคูฉะนั้นคลาสต่อไปนะคะเราก็จะฟังเรื่องตอนที่คริชนาเนี่ยสังหารปูตนะมีคำถามอะไรไหมคะใครมีคำถามอะไรถามได้ไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไม่ใช่ไหมไ
มีใครมีคำถามไหมคะสามารถถามได้นะคะจะน่าจะให้ถามให้นะคะว่าถ้าไม่ไม่ไม่รู้เออไม่ใช่แบบพ่อแม่เออของกิชนาเนี่ยนะตอนที่อยู่ในคุกอ่ะท่านไม่รู้เลยใช่ไหมว่ากิชนาเป็นลูกของท่านตอนที่เอาไปที่ไอ้นี่ยนะโกคุลอ่ะเออหมายถึงวาสุเดฟกับเดวากีไม่รู้เหรอคะใช่ใช่ใช่ไม่รู้ใช่ไหมว่ากิชนาเป็นเป็นเป็นลูกของท่านเออฮะดิฟยานิมาตาจี question is uh, did Vasudev and Devaki know that Krishna is their child? Yes. Krishna. Krishna had appeared as their child in the prison house, right? เกิดที่คุกใช่ไหมคะตอนกิชนาเกิดที่คุกเนี่ยกิชนาปรากฏให้ทั้งคู่รู้แล้วว่าเป็นพระองค์ and he appeared in four arm form very beautiful all decorated with jewelry everything แล้วก็ตอนแรกที่ท่านปรากฏเนี่ยท่านปรากฏในรูปของพระวิษณุก่อนนะคะพระวิษณุสี่ก่อนตอนนั้นเนี่ยท่านก็ตกแต่งก็มาในรูปแบบเต็มนะคะจัดเต็มก็คือมีทั้งมงคลมีเครื่องประดับทุกอย่างอุปกรณ์พร้อม Oh. So Krishna appeared in that form just to convince them, so that they knew that he was coming as their child. Hare Krishna. Okay. So, no more questions, right? Archana. Uh, yes, Gurudev. I think so. So we will finish here tonight. Okay, good. Thank you very, Thank you very much, much, much for your translation. His Holiness, we will be nursing a Swami Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to Vrinda Ki. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Go Pramanandi.